Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about in this video is a best practice of not using default usernames and passwords. So real quick, let's actually take a look. Here's my, my grand stream switch. But a few years ago, 2017, 2018, California actually passed a law that said any device manufacturers cannot use the same username and password in devices in the state. Basically, that's there's a whole lot more to it. I'll leave a link to this uh, legislative information from California down there. So a lot of companies uh, took this serious. Uh, Grandstream was one of those manufacturers, and at that time they started putting the random passwords on the bottom of the device. But that doesn't really go far enough when we're looking at best practices, when we're looking at security, right? So on a Windows domain, you don't log in as administrator unless you absolutely have to. You have domain admin accounts, and each admin has their own admin account. That way, everything can be tracked, everything can be traced, everything can be logged. On Linux, you don't log in as root unless you you have to. You have a user that has pseudo access. So in following with best practices, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this switch real quick, and we're going to, I know I logged in as admin, but in all of our videos going forward, I'm going to make sure that we change that default username. And the reason we're going to change the default username and password is because there is software, scripts, and even people who are looking to exploit your devices. And if you're using the username admin and a default password, and maybe they got the default password, but you're not, you may not be using it, but you've changed it. Maybe you've changed it to something weak, right? So if you're using that default admin and a weak password, there's a chance, a better than average chance, that your device could get compromised. So as part of our best practices going forward, even in the lab, we're going to change all of those default usernames. So we are in our GWN7801. We're going to go to user management. We're going to go to add. And I am going to put in my lab username, which, um, you know, you're seeing is different. So I am going to choose operator level and monitor. And you know what? On the fly, making an executive decision here, my lab username is going to be WHOW Lab. That's going to be my my lab admin username and password. Whatever you use, make sure you remember it, you document it, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and save that. And now I am going to log out. and log in as that user. So that is what we're going to do going forward. You should do this definitely in production. Probably do it in your lab. That way you get used to um, doing that. Do not use the same password in your lab that you use on production. Uh, horrible idea. So, um, you know, this is another one of those best practices that I'm just, I'm going to do and, and people can choose to not do it, but then you have to face the consequences of what may happen, especially you wouldn't believe how many ubiquity edge routers that we are asked to consult on. And they're still using UBNT and the web interface is open to the public. It's just, it's not a good idea, especially we've seen some really weak passwords. So make sure you're changing that default username and the password. And if you've got questions about it, leave it down below. I want to thank you for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with our affiliate links and our Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And if you need IT consulting for best practices on most technology, uh, especially networking, security, voice over IP, reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill that information form out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.